welcome back to my podcast. This is Edith Brimo at Discovering Natural Remedy. How are you guys doing today? You know what? I want to talk about how social media affect our kids. How social media affect our kids. Most kids today are plugged into devices like TVs, tablets, and smartphones well before they can even ride a bike i have a six years old boy i love to watch tv i'm really working hard as a mother to to make sure that he, he doesn't spend a lot of time watching that tv or being on the ipad or smartphones technology can be a part of a healthy childhood as long as this privilege is not abused for example, preschoolers can get help learning the alphabet on public television. Grade schoolers can play educational apps and games, and teens can do research on the internet. The problem is too much of everything is bad. It has to be in moderation, okay? Let's face it, guys. We have all played on our phone while with our kids. Whether it's a quick test or a social media post, it can be difficult to put the electronics down. I am guilty of it. I do that a lot. If my husband told me that I'm addicted to electronics and I'm trying to win myself out of it. Okay? I am guilty of it, like I said. And most parents are guilty also. But in reality, our email and Facebook can wait, especially if it means setting a good example for our children and protecting their health. Since increased screen time is associated with higher rates of childhood obesity, behavioral problems, ADHD, poor sleep quality, poor physical activity, and poor school performance. Multiple studies have shown that as parents increase their screen time, their children do the same because children, they copy. They are like sponge. They watch the parents. What the parents are doing, they copy it. Okay? Our children are constantly learning from us, guys, and following in our footsteps. When we focus on the screen instead of our child, we are sending a message that says, my phone or the TV is more interesting than you. Let me tell you something. There was a day I was on my phone and my son was calling me, Mommy, Mommy. I wasn't listening. I was glued to my phone. And he said, Mom. So my husband said, Oh, this phone, you are so addicted that you can't even listen if somebody calling you. And I said to myself, I have to stop this. Uh, it's difficult, guys, but I'm working on it. And if you are out there, struggling with that if you are my shoes let's do it we gotta show our children good examples okay so i want to see uh i want to talk about uh when we when we spend allow our children to spend too much time on electronics uh it's not good children who consistently spend more than four hours per day watching tv are more likely to be overweight. Kids who view violence art on TV are more likely to show aggressive behavior and to fear that the world is scary and that something bad will happen to them. Teens who play violent video games and apps are more likely to be aggressive. Characters on TV and in video games often depict risky behaviors such as smoking and drinking, and also reinforce gender role and racial stereotypes. That's why it is so important for parents to keep tabs on their kids' screen time and set limits to ensure they are not spending too much time in front of a screen. So now let's look at the recommendation. What is recommended? The American Academy of Pediatrics recommend these guidelines for screen time so guys listen babies and toddlers up to 18 months old no screen time with the exception of video sharing with family and friends 
toddlers 18 months to 24 months some screen time with a parent or caregiver preschoolers no more than one hour a day of educational programming together with a parent or other caregiver who can help them understand that they are seen. Kids and teens 5 to 18 years, parents should place consistent limits on screen time, which include TV, social media, and video games. Media should not take the place of getting enough sleep and being physical, physically active. What I do sometimes, I have a 16 years old, I do take her phone sometimes and put it in my bedroom and say, you know what, go get some good sleep. So parents, if you are out there, please put eye on your kids. Please set a limit on how they use electronics, okay? Let us protect our children. They are the future generation. Uh, till then, I want to thank you for downloading and subscribing to this podcast please share this podcast um, and invite friends and family to subscribe till then eat healthy live healthy and be healthy